Hi Chris here from Tech Tablets. I'm going to update here the BIOS on the Chewy VI10. This is a very quick how-to video on how to do that. Now Chewy just released this latest BIOS and it does update, I think, the touch controller for the touch panel, which did have a few issues, I think, but they have slightly changed things there with it and how it's working. So naturally you're going to need to download the files and they're available off Tech Tablets website here. So just, there's a link in the description, you can download those to update your tablet. So once you've downloaded them, just extract them to the desktop and you're going to need to have WinRAR installed because it's a RAR file. And you're also going to need a USB pen drive here, which I have to move the files over to. Now this drive here, you need to format it to FAT32. NTFC will not work. The BIOS needs it to be FAT32. So once you've done that, extract the files and it's just a matter of moving them all over right here, move those all over to the drive there. And you can call that external drive anything, it doesn't need to be named anything special. See, I've already actually already moved those over. So once that's all over, the instructions, you can pretty much ignore the readme that's in there because it's all in all this Java text here, which is uh, actually Chinese letters that aren't being displayed correctly. Don't worry about that. And actually just ignore this thing at the bottom too here because it's saying you need to run ANSH for Android or WNSH for Windows. But we can forget about that because it will automatically just start to flash the device. So now we just need to restart the machine. So power down, restart it, and then we'll continue with the BIOS flashing procedure, which is, by the way, all automatic. Okay, so once it finally resets, we need to have an external USB keyboard plugged in and keep hitting escape now to enter the BIOS. So you get a screen like this, it'll pop up and it'll come up and say that escape's been pressed. They're going to the boot options here. So with our mouse now, we're going to select the boot manager. And the one you want to select here is a little bit hard to actually tell which one it is that you want, but it is the EFI USB device. It does say USB 3 gigabit Ethernet, which is a little bit odd here, but that's the one we want. So run that, and then the BIOS installation should automatically start from the startup file there. And here we go. So it's going to start flashing over the BIOS now and update it here for me. Now, the version, I'm actually running this again because uh, I had a bit of a problem <laughs> recording the video. And there we go, it's very quick. Now the tablet will start to boot up now. I had to run it again, so the BIOS versions you're seeing there is actually the same one being flashed, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm doing this. Just a tip here, if you do have trouble powering it on because you get stuck on the Android boot menu if you were previously running Windows, then you need to run the dual boot menu on boot up. Now to do that, all you need to do is hold this power button and then volume down just here, hold those two on boot up, and then you'll be presented with this menu right here and use the volume up and down rocker. Right now I'm just going to select Windows because it wanted to boot into Android for me. So I'm just going to use it to select Windows there once it's flashing. Hit the power button again. And now Windows will start to power up there. So let's see how you update the device there. So once your VI8 has rebooted, you'll notice that the touch screen doesn't want to work anymore. And that's because we need to download those drivers. Hopefully you've downloaded them to start with. We're going to need to install those. So the factory drivers that are again available from the site, download those and go through and install the touch screen. Now that's under TC for touch controller. You install that and then the touch screen will come back. And I recommend you go through and install all those drivers there because those are the specific drivers for Windows 10 that Chewy actually just posted onto their forum just a day ago at the time of this video.